Hey guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Elliman. And today I want to cover something I was thinking about, came up, popped up. Uh, there's a quote by Warren Buffett that says, price is what you pay, value is what you get. And I was thinking about that, uh, especially in today's market, especially with bu home buyers, they get caught up on the price of a home, which is, let's call it 500,000. They get so caught up on it about that big number because it sounds like a big number and they'll lose a home over a few thousand here or there. They don't want to pay a certain amount or whatever it may be. So I started breaking it down trying to relate that to real estate, right? So what is cost, what is price, and what's value? So just in terms of price and value, a quick analogy would be something with high value, low price would be water. Water has a huge value to us. Um, we need water to survive, it's cheap, great product, great value. Uh, on the opposite end would be a diamond, right? A diamond has very high price, but very little value. The only value is what we perceive it to be, what we've given it, right? So we think a diamond, the only really thing we use diamond for are jewelry. And so we put a huge, huge value on it and set a high price for that. But in actuality, the value of that diamond is not that much. The value of the actual water when it comes to survival is way more than the diamond, yet a super fraction of the price of it, right? Uh, another way to look at it, and this is, what I, this is the way I want to apply it to a home purchase or looking for homes to buy. I actually want to say there's price, cost, value. I would say the price is what we see uh, on the sticker, right? So you look at homes, 500,000, 800,000, a million, 5 million, whatever that price may be for the home. That's the first thing we see. That number is usually big. It's more expensive than typically anything we've ever purchased in our life. So it's a little daunting. Uh, it's a little crazy, right? Then there's cost. What I'm going to uh, say cost are, are what your down payment is and what the monthly is to own that home, right? So the price, 500 grand, the, the down payment, say it's 20%, 100,000, and it's going to cost you 3,000 a month. So that's your cost for the product or for the service. Last but not least would be the actual value. So the value of the home, it obviously is, uh, it's different to each person, but if you are a single guy, it's good to have a one bedroom, one bath. If you're a family with three children, a four bedroom home, three bath is way more valuable to you and your family than it is to a single guy and vice versa. The value of a one bedroom condo in downtown has no real value to uh, a family with three kids. So when you're looking at property, obviously you want to look at price because that's what you're paying and that's what you can, you're approved on. But what you're really being approved on is not your price, but what your costs are. And remember that when you're buying a home, you're typically not buying the price, you're buying the cost, what it's going to cost you every month to maintain that asset. So look at that over time, focus more on the cost and the value. You're getting a value of a home that you're going to need for your family. We all need a place to stay. There's great value in, uh, a house or a condo or a townhome, price is again what you, what the sticker says and the cost is what you really should focus on when buying a home, guys. So again, cost, value, price, not the same, but work together, understand them, take them into consideration when you're buying a home or looking. Hope this helped you. Follow me, guys, social media. I sell real estate on Instagram, Jeff Disher on YouTube and Facebook. Later, guys. See you next time.